Hello, everyone. Welcome. Welcome, guys. Uh, we'll get started shortly. Welcome, everyone. Now, welcome, everyone. Welcome everyone, and we'll get started shortly. Welcome, guys. Welcome, welcome. Uh, as you guys know, this evening is trading in the zone, uh, trend following, and uh, trading systems. So I'll go over the market. And um, as we go over the markets, uh, we'll focus on, uh, again, trend following, trading in the zone, and uh, using our trading systems, okay? So uh, welcome everyone, welcome, welcome. All right, so um, let me just fix this here. Hold on one second. All right, hey Mary, welcome Mary. Hey Ka Kawisi, welcome. Hey Ranjit, welcome. Hey Charity, welcome. All right. All right guys, you guys should see my screen here. All right, so you should see my screen. All right, so let's go over the markets. Hey, Mini, welcome, welcome, Mini. All right, so um, as you guys know, on Wednesdays we do again trading in the zone, so mindset. All right, trend following, so we want to follow the trends, right? We want to make sure we're on the right side of these trends. All right, and then using our trading systems to right, analyze the market. And, um, and and trade these markets, okay? So um, the news of the week, and we had 
Um, we had some buying into the Dow. This is the Dow Jones. And we had been looking at this 30,000 level here on the Dow. All right, hold on one second. Right here, this 30,000 level is where we broke support, got a sell signal, this red candle here, this red candle is where we broke support. Um, and this was the close of last month, all right? Um, and last week we got some buying um, that came in and uh, continued this week. So right now we've recovered, the Dow has recovered that 30,000 mark. Now it got a low to a low as about uh, 28,700 and change is where it made a low, but it's recovered, all right? It's recovered um, that support. We've got a white candle here, right? So this is a monthly time frame. So if we can finish up the month, right? With a white candle and uh, hopefully get a, red, uh, a green candle, next month right that would be very bullish similar to here every time we get a red candle a white candle right followed by a green candle that's bullish kind of like here also white candles right here green candle bullish same here okay so we are keeping an eye on um on the equity markets all right and hopefully we can get a move higher right and start trading stocks again all right. Um, we do have some developments, right, in the um, um, on the, the Dow, the S&P, the NASDAQ and the Russell on the smaller time frame. So we've we've moved uh, from the weekly time frame. All right. So the big trend to the smaller trend. Right. Uh, to the 240. So this is a 240 minute time frame. So we want to get a closer view at price. Right. And we're hoping that we get some more buy signals. We do have a buy signal on the Dow. OK, on the Dow breaking resistance here on the 240. OK, we do not have a buy signal by the system. We're going to follow the system. We do not have a buy signal here yet. For those of you who are new to us, this blue, it's, I know it's hard to see this blue arrow right here. Right here, these blue arrows are a buy signal, okay? Nice markdown phase, all right? Accumulation phase, breaking resistance, buy signal. So the Dow looks good. It's holding, all right? Again, that's the 240. So it's a bit early, but we, we, uh, if, it, if we get buy signals on the other two timeframes, um, we'll call it, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll call it. Okay, for the for the equity markets. So no buy signal right now on the S and P. All right, and I'll open up the floor for questions. Um, okay, once I'm done. All right, no buy signal on the S and P. No buy signal yet on the Nasdaq. Okay, but they're developing. They're setting up. Uh, we do have a buy signal on the Russell. All right, it's pull. It's reversed a bit, retraced a bit here, but still holding the buy signal. All right, the VIX is coming down a bit. Okay, it's now at 30, all right? And so that's good for stocks, right? Um, so we need the VIX to come on down, right? So we need that to drop um, lower, all right, on the VIX. All right, one second here. Any questions on this so far on the equity markets? Things are improving, things are improving. All right, uh, no change in the sectors. Okay, so the sectors are the same. All right, um, so home construction, biotech, materials, financials, they, they're all the same, they're all down. We are keeping an eye on the energy sector. Now we'll take a look at that, the energy sector. All right, um, so crude oil, gasoline, natural gas, they're trying to make a move up, all right? Um, but this is going to be important here to get more buy signals on the other two um, indexes. And then we need the price to, to move higher to start buying stocks. The good news is um, those of you who trade um, stock boss, we are starting to see some um, stocks coming in stock boss and bull master. All right. So they're 
institutions are definitely um, trying, not getting aggressive, but they're, they're, they're waking up. Things are waking up. All right. Um, let's see here. Um, cryptos or Bitcoin um, still at around that 20,000 mark. All right. It's at 19,000. Um, 100 and change so right at that 20,000 mark no change 20,000 support so right here hasn't really changed much okay so right here holding that support if you guys look here it's really price is really holding that support all right all right um what does that mean the white candles um the white candles um that's uh one second here. So white candles, all right? Just look at, think of the white candles, price is consolidating, not going up or down, all right? Um, green candles, those are buyers, all right? So price is moving up. Red candles, price is moving lower. So white candles, uh, just neutral, okay? Neutral, good question. Okay, neutral. All right. Okay, so um, we're still in the markdown phase. So lower highs right here, lower highs, right, on Bitcoin, lower lows, all right, lower lows. So price is still moving lower, all right? We still, we still have a projection of, uh, 20, 10,000, 10,000, which is right. Hey, Arthur, welcome. So uh, 10,000 on Bitcoin is right about here. And we've been talking about this 10,000 mark on Bitcoin. All right. So, um, It's it's holding that twenty thousand mark. Hey Zaya, welcome. All right. So the trend again. This you know this is trend following, trend following mindset and using our trading system. Ten thousand support is right here. We've got pretty good support, and we've talked about this at ten thousand. All right, and here it is holding near twenty thousand in that markdown phase, okay? If we get a big candle like this to break this support right here, that's redistribution, all right? We will see the price move uh, lower, but they're holding it and I'm surprised by this. I mean, there's, uh, this is a weekly time frame, So several weeks, I mean, almost four months, almost four months where they've hold that price right here at, um, at support level, okay? So um, pressure is building though, Pre pressure is building. If you guys look here, if you guys look here, all right, um, we've got a nice triangle setting up here, all right? And um, you know, when this triangle is set up, um, price has to go um, one way or the other. So if you guys look here, we've got a really nice triangle setting up on Bitcoin on the weekly time frame. All right. So if you know, you guys notice here. So eventually it has to break out, right? So if you guys look here where price We'll start from here. Price is being squeezed. All right. And, and now it's being squeezed in the corner here. All right. So it's got to break out. It's going gotta, it's gotta to break out big. Now we can consolidate here for a bit longer. All right. But this price is getting squeezed. It's getting squeezed right in here. And it's going to have to break out. Okay. Either to the upside or to the downside. Okay. So, um, uh, the buyers are waiting and the sellers are waiting. <laughs> okay. Um, so uh, just like here, if you guys look here, 
just like here. Here is support right here. And here is that triangle coming down right here. Price was squeezed right here. And look at the big candle. Big buyer came in here, right? Big buyers came in to now, right? Push the price higher to start a trend. So same thing is happening here, all right? So can either break to the downside or break to the upside, all right? So that's what's happening with Bitcoin. Um, now, as you guys know, um, if you don't know, well, um, Bitcoin is the barometer for the entire crypto market. So you, will, you guys will notice the same similar price action with other coins that are out there. All right. So uh, the majority of the coins out there, uh, the cryptos out there will follow the price action of Bitcoin. All right. So um, now let's talk about uh, stocks. So we're starting to see more stocks, all right, in stock boss. Um, we're not ready to trade yet. If we, like I said, if we get a buy signal on the other two um, indexes, we'll call it, all right? We'll call it. Um, but I would start taking a look at um, those of you like charity, charity, where's charity? Charity, um, you, you, you trade with, um, um, uh, stock boss, Mary, you trade with stock boss. Um, I would start paying attention. Okay, we're getting close. So start paying attention to your heat seeker. Start looking for stocks. Here is, um, um, you guys can start looking at energy, right? So energy right here, right? Energy right here, right? That's up. Right, so if it's up, it's not red, right? So it's not going down. That that sector is moving up, and then it was up for the day. It was a uh, three, you know, almost three and a half percent up for the day. All right, so um, I would start building a watch list, okay? Um, through through a heat seeker here. Here is one here. Uh, what's that symbol? Uh, D O. All right, D-O. No, I'm not saying take this trade, but just watch it. Give a buy signal. Buy signal on the break of this resistance right here. Okay. Um, that was to uh, give a buy signal yesterday. Uh, no, nothing here. Nothing here. Here's, an, here's a good one here. Nice markdown phase, accumulation phase. All right, this one failed, this buy signal failed, but we've got a new buy signal here. So I'll keep an eye on that one, okay? I'll keep an eye on this one here. RES, that's energy, okay? Just build a watch list, all right? This is a good one here, not a great markdown phase, all right? But start looking through these and see if you can find um, let's see, let's see if there's anything in healthcare. healthcare. Now, I would focus on energy. If things change, all right, um, then we'll change. Um, here in Boomaster, so um, stock boss, 10, 10, stocks that are $10 and lower, uh, Boomaster $10 and higher. Let's see what's in here. Um, energy, look at this. We're getting more cities, energy stocks here. All oh, these are energy stocks. Uh, if you remember, guys, last week we had we had no, we had about probably five, ten stocks in here. Now we've got more. Look at this. All right, so we're definitely markets picking up. We're getting a bit healthier. Um, not totally bullish yet, but we we seeing things turn around. All right, uh, let's see here if we can find any. Any good, good, good setups in energy. Oh, look at a good one here. All right, so keep this on your radar. Okay, um, what's that? Uh, P U M P pump. All right, P U M P pump. All right. Uh, let's see here. Good buy. Nice markdown phase. Look here. Nice markdown phase. Right. Nice accumulation. Breaking resistance. That's what we want. All right. All right. 
We just need a buy signal on this one. Nice markdown phase, right? Accumulation phase. All right, here's another one here. Another one here, a little high. All right, so go through those. All right, start. don't start trading them. All right, don't start trading them. Just build your watch list. Okay, um, as far as um, uh, Forex, Forex. Now, you guys know we're starting to trade on the 60-minute time frame more, right? Um, what trade are you guys in? What trades are you guys in um, in Forex? What trades are you guys in in Forex? Anyone in the dollar in the dollar pairs or yen pairs? I'm in the USD CNH and CAD yen. CNH and CAD yen. All right, Charity, let's take a look. Uh, on what time? I, uh, we're going to have to start asking on what time frame? On the 240 or the 60? Um, both of them are 60, actually. On the it's, six? been, it's been kind of nice to, <laughs> I mean, I know we're supposed to be consistent with one, but it's actually been profitable for me to bounce back and forth. Yeah, yeah. And that's why, you know, um, that's why we're doing it this way um you know you might uh, and i know mary had some questions about you know which one to kind of stick with um you know charity you've been you've been with us for a while so um i, I think it'll be easier for you to kind of go back and forth but mary as you get going it, you know it, it becomes um easy it's it's and you know charity this was your idea to add the you know um you know you wanted more more opportunity um if you guys notice we will have um we'll have a lot more opportunities okay i want to show you guys something um, um uh, it's not it's not a system okay but it's something that i use um to kind of manage all right manage the the both time frames and it, it works well it works well um so if we take a look at USD CNH, well, let's do it here first. You said it's on the 60 um, USD CNH. So right yeah, here. Basically, you... I've been getting in on the two, well, been trading on the 240, but if, it, if I get a buy or sell signal on the 60, then that'll gauge whether or not I stay in a little bit more. Okay, okay. Okay, so you in you in it um, on this one on this on the sixty. Your, was your entry on the sixty? Yeah. So initially, I was getting in on the two forty, but then I'm watching the two. I'm watching the sixty, and then getting out if I get a sell signal, and then and then once I get the buy signal again, then I'll get in again. But I'm really maintaining that on a two forty long term. If that makes sense. So if it has like long-term, like if the 240 still is green and it hasn't gotten an exit, exit signal, but the 60 has, then I'll get out. And then if it still hasn't got a exit signal, then, and then the 60 gives me another buy signal, then I'll keep, I'll stay in longer and wait for the, I don't know, <laughs> I'm explaining it very well. But really, I'm like staying in it and getting in and getting out until I get a full on exit signal on the 240. Okay. And how is that working out? So far, it's pretty good. Like I'm, I'm able to, I feel like I'm able to um, maximize the profits that way and minimize the losses. Mm -hmm. I remember Zaire, Zaire, Zaire is here. Um, Zaire had mentioned that, right? That's that's the cool thing about it, okay? Um, you're able to get in quicker, get out quicker, all right? The only concern yeah. is that, you know, you have to just watch it more often, right? Um, but, yeah. you know, is, is, um, like you said, the 240, so that's your, that's your foundation, right? The 240 is basically what you're doing, and then you're trading off the, off the 60, 
Okay. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Um, so here it is here. Uh, yeah, USD, CNH. So here is the 60. All right. But then here is your 240. And it's in a nice trend. And what you're saying is if you get a sell signal on the 60, you'll get out. Right. On the 60, take the profits. Okay. Right. Watch the watch the 240. If the con if the 240 continues to hold and you get another buy signal, you'll just get back in. That's what you're saying. Right. And it's almost taking the place of scaling up in a way. So instead of scaling up, I'll hold until I get until it starts to have that reversal or kind of consolidation. And then uh, at that point, then the 60 minute gets an exit signal. So instead of risking that it might continue to go down and holding that, I'm just exiting, preserving the profits. And then if it gets another buy signal, then enter in again. And if not, then look for a different pair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like you're scaling up, right? So you're using the overall trend and you're getting in and you're getting out, okay? Right. Um, yeah. Good job. I'm. I'm glad. I'm glad you. You. You're using it that way. Okay. Um, and the reason why. You know, sometimes what we've done in the past is, when the the markets get in a tight consolidation, we're bringing a smaller time frame. Okay. Um, but what we what we what we will do moving forward is just have both time frames both time frames so you guys can do that and the reason um uh and it was charity we were having a conversation and uh she just wanted more opportunities to trade right she just wanted more opportunities to trade and um and i you know i i, I always pay attention to you guys are out there you're in the field you're trading right and um and you know we have a lot of traders with a lot of eyes out there all right so um you know so you know we'll listen to you guys and um it nothing is set in stone so if it makes sense and um we'll definitely do it so thank charity for this guys because um you will notice you no know, it's more active right and and the, the 60 minute is a solid time frame right it, it, you know it, it doesn't have a, a crazy amount of noise like perhaps a five minutes or 15 minute or even a 30 minute time frame. Okay. But you, you will find more opportunities. So I'm glad you're using it. Charity, I'm glad you, you, um, you're finding success. All right. And this will allow you guys to take more profits, take profits a bit more sooner. I know with the 240, um, you know, sometimes we have to wait uh, quite a bit of time, you know, weeks and, sometimes you know a month to take profit so um, being able to trade right within that trend is good okay but you have both now you have both you could have one pair on the 240 and then you could be trading another pair right on on the 60 okay on the 60 right and i feel like it's less stressful because i don't have to worry about is it going to keep going down and, or is it going to go up? I don't have to worry about that time frame so much because I can just say, well, I can get out for now and I'm taking the meat of the trade and I have an opportunity to get back in if it, if it isn't going to continue going down. Yeah. So, yeah. Less stressful. Less stressful. We'll probably look at something similar um, on, um, on perhaps stock boss and bull master. Okay, where we, we wouldn't do a 60, we might do a, we might do a daily and a 240. Okay, so we might bring in a 240 um, um, and then use the daily. So still trade on the daily, but then bring in a 240 uh, to, to, to do something similar. Okay, so okay. yeah, okay. And I think that might work out well also. All right. Um, but good job, good job, good job. And the next one was CAD yen, CAD yen, um, CAD yen. Okay. Um, so are you you in this one currently? So you're trading this on the 60 minute also? Yep, same way. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. And your entry was where here, I'm assuming? 
So yeah, that one was actually today. So I got out of it on the on the let's see, I got out of it at 108.24. And then I got back and that was on the 18th. And then I got back back in today. Uh, let's see, at 10 108.67 at 12.20 today. Okay. Hey, Gerald, Hello. welcome. Hey, hey, Kyle, welcome. Okay, so you got out on this cell signal. Hello. You got out on this cell signal, and then you got in. Okay. On the device. Yep. All right, good job. Let's take a look at the, uh, uh, the 240. So good job. See, nice, nice markup phase, right? Right, so when it's I holding it on, this, on the 14th originally. Too. What's initially that, Jared? What's that? Initially, I did get this get in on this one on the 14th. So at the original buy signal. On the 240 or the 60? On the 240, yeah. The 240. And then I followed 60 to exit and get back in again. Okay, okay, good job. You guys see what she's doing? You guys have any questions on what she's doing here? This is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. Any questions on what Charity is doing here? And you, you're still in this one, Charity, right? Caddy in? Yeah, I'm still in on that one. Okay. So watch it for to break, right? Resistance. We got resistance right here. Green candle here. Okay. So good job. Good job using the 240, right? Using the 240 as your trend and then managing your, your trades here. Mary, do you see what she's doing here? Because this was your question earlier, right? Yeah, that was precisely my question. Yeah. So you see what she's doing, what Charity is doing here? Yeah, that's what actually I was hoping I would start to do. Okay. All right. So she's yeah, So she's using the 240, making sure that she's got a nice trend. It's it's nicely in the markup phase, and then she's trading. She's trading the this markup phase on the 240, but she's trading it on the 60. And look at the trades here. Okay. And if it breaks through that resistance right here, that reaccumulation phase, guess what? It's gonna break it in here. But for her, her thing was, hey, I, I, I want to make money. Um, it's, things are kind of quiet, right? I want, I want it to be more active, right? So now things are a bit more active. Not crazy, right? Not, not, it's, not, it's not like this. It's not, you know, we're not buying. We're not getting in, getting out, getting in, getting out, right? It's still, because from here to here, that's four days, Right. Yeah, it's still really manageable. Like I'm not spending much more time on it, honestly, mm -hmm. than I was with the two forty. Yeah, yeah. The only concern is um overnight, you know, overnight, um things yeah. might you know because we have volume. A lot of volume will come in. A lot of volatility will come in, right? Uh, you know, two a.m., three, four a.m. All right. So that's the that's that's perhaps the biggest concern that it can change your trend can change okay. yeah and that's where that 240 comes in handy just going back to that looking at the trend on that bingo then, yeah. yeah bingo good job good job good job good job all right keep keep doing that all right um uh, any questions any questions any questions from anyone on this Okay. Um, the yen pairs on the two forty. The yen pairs are st they're still leading. All right, they're still leading. The yen pairs. All right. Um, some of them. Um, look at this here. Two forty here. Um, so a lot of the yen pairs. Some of them I know failed. All right. Um, give some sell signals on the 60 minute, but just like Charity is doing, right? Um, you can get back in if they give a buy signal, 
right? So if they give a sell signal on the 60 minute and then give a buy signal, you guys can get in, all right? Um, so the yen pairs, and I think the za was it, the za. So the za yen, um, here was the buy on the 60 minute. Here was the sell signal, all right? And now it's retracing. And we'll see that pullback on the 240 here. So we'll see that pullback on the 240. Okay, now if it recap, it, it you know it's it's recapturing that so that uh, that moving average here. Here is support. Uh, uh, support is right here. All right. Now if it if it holds this, um, you know if it comes down, if it holds anywhere in here, start getting some buying again. We'll see the 60 move higher and then give a buy signal. Okay, but this is encouraging that on the 240, the yen pairs are, are moving higher. Now, um, see the yen pairs right here, the yen pairs right here. Okay, yen pairs right here. Dollar pairs, nothing here on the 240, but look on the dollar pairs here. So we send some signals out today on the dollar pairs. Did anyone get in any of those? Uh, any of the dollar pairs? Oh, well, um, Charity, that was, you had been trading that before, right? The dollar pair. Um, anyone gotten any new dollar pairs today? No one? All right. So let's see what's happening here with the dollar pairs. So we saw a move happening yesterday, right? late last night and we send out um, an alert that the dollar pairs were moving on the 60 minute okay now keep in mind that when we when this is a counter trend trade okay let's see here all right so we, you'll notice that a lot of the uh, you know charity you've got you have a specific trade there with USD CNH, but this trade that we called today, right, it's a counter trend. So we're going against the trend, okay? But hopefully these are good trades, right? Hopefully these will, these will pull up, right? But on the 60 minute time frame, if you guys look here, I'm just gonna go through a few of them. On this on the 60 minute now, on the dollar you got, See here, we got a we got a ton of buy signals, okay. On the dollar pairs, and what we are looking at is remember this is trend following trading systems. All right, so we want to use our trading systems and trading in the zone. If you look here, here is the dollar. So the dollar moved up 0.75 percent, okay today. So it's moving up again. So we're seeing that move um, in the dollar pair. So um, uh, you guys need to be in these dollar pairs. Mary, did you got? Did you get in? I know you were asking me if you should get. Did you get in any of the dollar pairs? No, I'm waiting for the sixty minute time frame to be installed. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, we'll do that. Okay, so dollars are, let's just go through a few of them. USD are, so dollars are has a buy signal. Okay, right here, buy signal and it's moving higher, right? On the 60 minute, nothing there. Okay, look at this one here, USD SGD. That has a nice buy signal here. All right, this is on the 60 minute now, guys. Nice markdown phase, right? These are really nice trades. Okay, buy signal right here and look here, it's moving higher. Nice markdown phase, nice accumulation. All right, so we're following the four market phases. All right, uh, USD SEK. All right, so if you guys, we send this out to all monster scalper traders. So you guys should have gotten this. Okay, buy signal here, nice break of resistance, right? Moving up nicely on the 60 minute, 
okay now with the 60 minute if you guys want wanted to you can put a bit more capital to work i wouldn't get i wouldn't go crazy but you can put a bit more you know because guess what um you've got tighter support and resistance areas okay you've got tighter areas okay you've got a bit more control like charity was saying right USD, SEK, USD, PLN for this one, USD, PLN. All right, nice buy signal right here, break of resistance, moving up nicely. Even if we get up in this area in here, that's a very nice trade. Okay, we do have some consolidation in here, some resistance up in this area here, but nice trade, nice trade right here. All right. By the way, David, someone's in the someone in the chat's asking about getting your uh, your software. Okay, let's see here. All right, Ranjit, um, um, we will chat. I'll I'll get with you after the class. Okay. Okay, and we'll we'll go over that. Um, uh, in the meantime, um, if you want, when we're done, uh, the website is monstertradingsystems.com, but we, I'll get with you, okay, um, after the class. So USD, PLN, I want to show you, I want you guys to see how many buy signals we have. So USD, PLN, that's also a buy signal right there. Uh, USD, and just, just focus on here right focus on here and we're doing the same thing okay four market phases markup phase distribution markdown phase and now we've got right markup phase accumulation markup phase all right usdn okay nothing here usd mxn uh, i don't like that nothing there let's see if it has a buy signal We'll, we'll, it has a buy signal, so we'll count it. We're looking for buy signals. So USD MXN, it has a buy. We wouldn't trade this, it's a mess, right? but it has a buy signal. Uh, USD HUF, beautiful markdown phase. Look at the previous trade. Look at this trade here. Nice trade. This is a 60 minute now, right? 60 minute, nice trade. All right, nice trade. All right. Nice markdown phase, look at that. Buy signal here, accumulation buy signal. Buyers are coming in. USD HUF, right? I just wanna show you guys HUF. Um, the next one, USD HKD, nothing here. Horrible chart, All right? USD DKK, USD DKK. All right, buy signal here, markdown phase, buy signal, right, markup phase, getting ready for reaccumulation. Right. I wouldn't add, all right, I wouldn't, right. I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't add to, um, to these trades. I wouldn't scale up on the 60 minutes. I wouldn't scale up on the 240. You can, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't scale up on the 60. Okay, uh, just take one trade. You can trade a little higher. All right, um, USD CZK. So that's another buy signal right here. Look here, buy signal. Price is moving high. Uh, CZK. All right, and of course, USD CNH. All right, uh, dollar Swiss buy signal right here. Dollar Swiss and then Dollar CAD. Hey DC, welcome, welcome DC. Dollar CAD, no none there. Okay, so we've got um, how many pairs do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So fourteen pairs, dollar pair. <coughs> so we've got ten, ten out of fourteen pairs with a buy signal. Okay, so dollar pairs are definitely moving higher. Okay, now keep in mind, they're not like the ones charity is in. 
all right? They're not like here, right? Where you've got nice 240 in the trend, solid in the markup phase, right? And, and nicely um, positioned in the, on the 60 minute. So her 240 is absolutely perfect. Her 60 minute is really perfect too. Okay, we, you're not gonna, we're not gonna have that, all right? On these new buy signals on the other pairs. You see here, see this 240 right here. All right, but these are still, these are still tradable. These are still tradable. A bit more risky because of the 240, okay? A bit more risky because of the 240. 240 is not like this, but still very good trades that are setting up. All right. And hopefully what we what we what we're doing is we're getting in a bit early. All right. We're getting in a bit early and hopefully the 240 will follow. All right. The 240 will follow. All right. So we're going to be doing a lot more of this. And the goal is um, get more active get more opportunities. So rather than just trading one time frame now, the 240, we got two time frames. And these are solid time frames. 60 solid, right? 240 solid, right? We don't have to babysit the trades. Okay. But but um good opportunities. If you guys look here, all right, um, and this is just a way uh, what I do to manage things a bit. Okay. Um, this is not part of Monster Scalper, okay? Um, but this is the way I, I used to manage things. Um, if you guys notice here on the 240, the yen pairs. All right. All right. If on the 240, this is the 240 here. This is the 240. So when we call these, when we call these um, buys, right? Pay attention. Here's the 240. The yen pairs are leading, all right, on the 240. And then here, the dollar pairs are leading on the 60 minute. Okay. And we trade in two groups now. We trade in the, the yen and the dollar pairs. So the yen pairs, they're, pro, they're out there. They're the, that's the top leading pairs on the 240. And on the 60, the dollar pairs are the best performing pairs. Okay. And if we look here, and I'll be done in a minute. All right. So here, dollar pairs here. Dollar. All right. Dollar pairs here. All right, they're leading yen pairs here. All right, that's the 60 minute. That's the 240. And then here on the 240, right here, the yen group, right? That's the 240, the yen group. See here, all that buying here. And then on the 60, right, the dollar group here. <laughs> so you see, you guys see that? Yen pairs, best performing pairs on the 240. And then the dollar pairs are the best performing pairs. All right. Mostly going up on the 60 minute. All right. So we're trading the best performing pairs, yen pairs on the 240. And then we, we, we trade in the best performing pairs on the, um, on the 60 minute. Pretty cool stuff. All right. So now you guys have two different groups you can trade, two different time frames. All right. It's gonna, you know, you're gonna get busier. It's more work, but it's it's an opportunity to make um, more money too with Monster Scalper. All right. Any questions on this? Any questions? Zaire, what do you think of this? Do you like this? Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, like I said, it's more it's more active. So you guys will see a lot more texts, a lot more messages, 
right? Um, and the goal is the goal is for you guys to make a lot more money, all right? And we're always looking to add features, right? Add features, add, look to add, you know, minimize risk and mas ma maximize profits. Um, we'll look to do the same thing. Um, and if we roll it out, um, now um, you guys need to get in contact with me. We will be sending out um, information. So if you guys want, um, you can always, change your time frames right so you can always change your time frames but i would recommend you guys get with me okay um to to set it up permanently and what what you will have is this okay so rather than rather than going in here and i know some of you guys have done this in the past right and have you know have done it and we'll, we'll do it but rather than going here and changing your time time frames right here okay um we've we, we've set up a separate window for your 60 minute okay so because you need you need your radar here you need your radar here to be 60 minute you need your trends your 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 trending in indicator right here to be 60 minute okay so you need both you need the 240 240 this is 240 240 240 everything is 240 long all right and then you need your 240 short 240 240 240 here your trading window short right short and then we need to do your 60 minute all right, your, I'm, I'm sorry, your 60 minute here, 60, 60, long, and then 240 here, long. All right, and it doesn't take long uh, to do that, right? 10 minutes at the most, right? And uh, we'll, we'll get that done. So Mary, we're going to do yours, but our charity, we will need to do yours. Okay, uh, Gerald, we'll need to do yours, okay? um if you guys if you guys plan to trade this way I, which i recommend okay um like i said you can always go in manually and change it but then you will not have these your radar and your trending indicators there okay um and then we'll look to see if we can um design that same feature into stock boss okay we'll look to see um and then bull master um, so we'll look to have a, a 240 and a daily is what I'm thinking we'll have um, in Bullmaster and Stock Boss. So more opportunities, more opportunities, you know, so even if the market becomes a bit tighter, you know, um, we can still have some opportunities. I think it's pretty cool. All right. All right. All right, guys. Any questions for me? That's all I have. All I have. Any questions? You guys are quiet to me. I don't like it when you guys are so quiet. All right. And Ranjit, I will get with you. All right. I will um, send you a message and we can um, we'll go over the systems. All right, guys. Take care. Have a good evening. All right. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right. Take care. Bye bye. Even? Yes. Yes, Arthur. Did you, did you, did you? know about tesla stock after it closed tesla stock yeah All right what's the symbol for tesla tsla tsla yeah all right so what's going on with tesla yeah it, w it was uh kind of volatile after it closed it went all the way up and then it, now it's going all the way down. Okay. After market. Okay. All right. Um, I don't see anything here. Um, and it was after their, I think their earnings or something like that. Okay. Um, one second here. Let's do this.
I just want to see here. No, nothing. They're, they're still selling it. All right, so it's still going down. Um, how, long, how, 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 how down do you think it's going to go? Well, I wish I knew. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I wish I knew. Um, let's see here. All right. So yeah, this is the, the on the 240, 240 minute time frame. And Otley, it's not doing anything. It's not doing anything. So it's still if you're looking to go long to buy it. Or you just no to exit. I have I have a couple in there. Oh well, where was your buy? Where was where did you get in at? What price? Uh, I think around. I think they recently did a split. That's why maybe you're confused. It's split around from 800. Yeah. 111. You got in at 111? No, sorry. Um, like 211 around there. Okay. What price did you get in? Look at, look at your platform. What price did you get in at? Um, because that's important. Yeah, yeah. around actually around two two twelve. Two twelve. Okay, so you around got there. in here two twelve to go up, right? Yeah. What what time frame are you trading on? Uh, five. The five minute. Five, awesome. it, and, and I switched so between to fifteen, thirty a couple of times. The, but it was it was the 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 sudden drop after it closed. Okay, so you're trading on the 15 minute, which one, five, 15 or 30? I heard you say three different time frames. Um, between the five and 15. Okay, I'm going to encourage you to pick one. Okay, pick one time frame. Um, five. Boy, these are tough time frames to, to trade. Um, are you still, are you still in this trade? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm, I'm trying to find a, an entry here for you. Uh, at, you got in at 212, 212. To fifteen. Mm. All right, um, sixty. Okay, so this is as close. I'm I'm trying what I'm trying to do is find a time frame. Okay. Um that is manageable. All right. Where the trade, it looks like you might have a good trade. All right. And uh the 60 minute looks like the only one. All right. So uh, we've got a nice markdown phase here. Nice markdown phase. Nice sellers are coming in. We've got a clear buy signal, and it's still holding. Okay, so 
two fifteen. Um, every all the, all the other smaller time frames, you should have you should have been out, just based on the systems here, right? You you should have been out. So two fifteen was about right here. All right, so 215 is right here. Um, on the 60 minute time frame, you've got support at rather rather 215, 216. Buy signal, got a green candle. All right, so you could still hold it. But I know you're not using the system. So you would put, if you were to exit, your exit would be below your support. So I would say about 214. If it breaks 214, it could go lower. So 214, right at around 214. So about right, right, 214 is about right, right here. All right. Here is support at about two, two, 216. Let's say two, 215. 215 is your support, your support. So if it if it breaks through that support. I would say 214, right? 214, you would want to definitely get out. What well, that would mean that sellers are coming back in, okay? But right now it's holding, right? They're, they're holding the price, right? You've got a green candle here, all right? So hopefully, but you you um, you got to watch those time frames. That's a, you know, um. If you if you're trading on that five or fifteen minute time frame, look at look at how clear this is, right? It's very clear where sellers came in, buyers came in, sellers came in, and where buyers are coming in. If we move this to a five minute time frame, right? Um, yeah, you could you could do this here, all right. But you you were you know you bought in, you bought in at two twelve. Right. And look from here, 212. Here was your, let's say here was your entry at around 212. Look at all of this that would have happened. Okay, on the five minute time frame. On the 15 minute time frame, um, your entry would have been um here. When did you get in? What day? Because two 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 fifteen was at um on the seventeenth. Am I right? So that's two days ago. Otto. No, it was uh it was today after after closing. You got you got you got filled at two fifteen. You didn't get filled at two fifteen today. The price never went. The low it went was two seventeen. Today it was around like two eleven, two twelve. Not today. Eleven. Not today, bud. Not today. If you look here, if you look here, all right. Um, two fifteen. Here's here's the two fifteen price. We're talking about Tesla, right? So, the the last time. The most recent, right? The price got to 215. 215, right here. See 215 right here? Unless you got another different price. Okay, so 215 right here. 215 right here. The most recent, right? Time it got at 215 was right here, 1017. Okay, that's why I wanted to know your the price that you got in at. It have see right here, the low that it made yesterday, the low that it made today was um hold on. The low that showing it like made, it's just showing the after the after closing. Is this a, or is this during the daytime? This is this is from the close. This is from the close of today. Did you get in aftermarket? Yeah, aftermarket. 
after market. Okay, well that's that's different then. But if you got in after market, what that would mean then is the price is moving lower. So if it, if you got in, look here for a second. All right. So right, this is where the price closed today. Right at at uh, four thirty. At four, at four o'clock. Okay, it closed at two twenty-two. If you got in after market at two fifteen, that would mean that the price went a lot lower, and you got in. All right, if you got in after market. All right, so that's risky. That's risky. All right, so it closed that. If you're telling me you got in today and you got in after market, right? And it closed at 222 and you got it at 215. That means sellers came in, right? And you got in, which means it could go, it could, you know, this could happen. Or oh, anything can happen when it opens in the morning, but. That's, you know, that's risky, bud. That's risky. All right. So it can, it can either go up or, or it can either go down tomorrow. Oh, well, you know, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. If, if you got in at, my point is this, right? It closed for the day at 222. And um, you got it after market at 215. So they're not buying it, they're selling it. So when it opens in the morning, it can gap lower, go lower, or it can move higher, but you, you have no control. I guess that's the idea, right? You have no control of it at, at this point. All right, you don't have, the, you don't have a chart to tell you, right? You don't have buy signals. You don't have a break of resistance, right? So it's a bit risky. So I can't even analyze it for you. If you look here, I can't analyze it for you because, you know, buying after market is risky. And um, you said their earnings, They've got earnings. Tesla have earnings. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to check up on it. Yeah. So, all right. But, I mean, that's, I can't analyze for it for you if you bought it. Now, if you, if you bought, because I thought you bought it like in here somewhere, we can certainly analyze it. All right. We could put it on a 60 minute and then we can find, um, an, an exit, an exit for you, okay? Um, so, I mean, uh, remind me tomorrow, um, if you stay in it, if you decide to stay in it, remind me tomorrow, and then we'll have data, we'll now have data to analyze it, but we can't analyze it now. If not, if you bought it here, and we have nothing to show you. All right, bud? All right, thanks. Thanks so much. All right, but move to us. Move to a higher time frame. Why are you? Why are you doing? You know, why are you doing this? You shouldn't do this. I I have it on this little uh, thirteen inch laptop, and it's just on the side, and I'm not really hundred percent focused. I want to take some vacation days, mm -hmm. and I'm just gonna go all out. Two monitors, a mouse, keyboard, proper. Because I'm using I'm using the um the touch pad so it's not it's not a, a okay. all right you love pain i don't like pain <laughs> you like pain all right guys all right so we'll call it a night all right um and i will see you guys tomorrow um Otto, ask me about it tomorrow okay ask me about it tomorrow at tomorrow's class all right if i forget all right all right guys take care have a good evening bye-bye thank you take care everyone mm -hmm.